welcome back Jonathan Foster back with another uh, installment of making music and uh, today I'm going to be using my keyboard and uh, uh, going through the process of adding some uh, keyboard tracks to fill out the sound of our, uh, our production here so the first thing I'm going to do is select all production and I'm going to move it back another couple bars and to allow me to, to get some space to add a synthesizer track which as you can see is my keyboard here I'm going to be adding synthesizer tracks to the production so what, what I want to do is uh, choose the bottom track here and add a track and choose an instrument track and when I select my instrument I'll go into synth Halion Sonic SE and add track and, uh, and then you can see that it's that it's come up here uh, first thing I'm going to do is do an audio insert and route it to or I'm sorry not an insert but an audio send and route it to uh, I'll get it right in a minute route it to group one and then enable it and then I should be able to hear that on or you all you all should be able to hear that uh, as soon as I choose a I was going to add a string sound and so uh, let me look I was thinking of uh, a preset here called Matrix Strings. Adding a little bit of an ominous note to the beginning of the uh, of the production. Pretty cool, huh? So hit record and let's see how this sounds Jump the gun on the initial. Let's see, let's go by feet. I thought, where's my sound? Oh, oops.
I can hear it this time. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more what I was going for. Okay, so I'm going to add a little voice over here. I got kind of deep in the weeds on this part and uh, was busy trying to figure out a chord progression uh, or the keyboard parts to go with the chord progression. And uh, so, okay, as you can tell, I'm not a keyboard player, but I can hear sounds and know what sounds uh, correct in a given uh, circumstance. So. That's what I'm trying to do here is just to find the sound that works. So, uh, let's give it a listen. care for that so I'm gonna take it back out but I think I do like the uh, the drone of the E on the octave there and we'll move it over here and sort of fill out that bottom end this that again.
good. So. Okay, this is uh, I'm getting uh that chord progression lined out, and so I'm going to go over to my quantize and uh, make sure the notes are on the correct just beat. Just the guitar. And so that's just a real, really just a click away. And so uh, let's see it now. Just the guitar. notice something here and get deep in the weeds again and, and stop uh, talking for a few minutes uh, so I'm going to add this voiceover. I noticed that some of the okay. parts that I'd copy uh, and pasted so from one track didn't line up musically with some of the uh, parts on another track. So I had the, the uh, okay. intro lick for instance. Uh, uh, lined up with uh, some of the chord change on the bridge and so uh, I had to go in and uh, cut some stuff out move it around to get the right parts in the right place so I'm not sure how this happened but uh, it did so <laughs> that's it that's part of recording now, the nice thing about digital recording is this is an easy fix so I can just move the parts I need to the place I need it. <clears throat> yeah, I noticed there's some still some parts here that are not quite where there should be so on the bass track so uh, move that one out and this one back in so that one is and go ahead and uh, add my guitar tracks here in a second that are on that part so noticed and I'll have to fix it in my next recording that track one is not coming through on the group mix so nobody can hear it on the video so that wasn't evident when I recorded the video so that's something I'll have to uh, adjust. I plan on actually panning both tracks hard left and hard right uh, respectively so that uh, you get a good stereo sound on the guitar. So. 
Okay, so I got a little bit deep in the weeds here, uh, moving things around, but I uh, hope you got a good idea of where I'm going with this. And uh, so I'm going to actually save it here, and I'll get back with you, and we'll tweak these a little bit more uh, next time I get with you. So look forward to seeing you then.